Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Beards and Gear, we're gonna check out the all new Orion 45 from KSR Amps. In the world of amplifiers, KSR is really the top shelf, super bougie, often very expensive tube amplifiers, and they also have really, really nice sounding pedal preamps, which I've had here many times on the channel. However, those two worlds kind of collide in that we have some new all tube goodness in a very compact size, not quite the size of a pedal. However, we have a 45 watt behemoth, the Orion 45 from KSR. Now, before we go any further, Kyle's an old friend of mine. I am making this video for a homie. I am a longtime KSR user. I used to tour with one of the Gemini amps for a long time. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm just checking out a new thing that my friend built. All thoughts and opinions are mine. Now the Orion 45 is a two-ish channel amplifier. Really KSR calls it a 4.2 channel. What that means is there are two physical channels. However, each channel has two different modes giving you four different sounds and voicings, full MIDI capability, full tube you can run either, actually it'll come with EL34s or 6L6s, however you can literally run any octagonal power tube you want in this thing. Also, you can have silent recording if you want, you can even customize the colors that show up on each individual channel. Kyle thought of everything. Now, while each of the two channels has a secondary level and gain control, you will notice that with each successive channel, the saturation and the gain ramps up and gets more and more, and lead one and lead two are slightly different in their voicings. However, that's where the chugs happen. Lead one and lead two, that's where I live. Also, very typical of a KSR amp, you have external bias points, you have total customization on the back panel itself. Also, I forgot to mention, this thing is $17.99 and made in Ohio. So, there's also that. All right, so now that we got the full mix out of the way, let's do a little bit of a playthrough. I'm going to stick with my Jim Root Fender Jazzmaster, and uh, I'm just gonna twist some knobs as best I can. I don't have the foot switch. This is fully MIDI capable. However, I don't have anything to properly switch the channels because this is a very early prototype, and uh, you know, this is one of the first ones out there. He hasn't made the foot switches yet. So I just have to kind of reach in the back as I have in the past and just kind of manually switch the channels. So I will try to reach as best I can and flip some knobs and twist some things. And uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of a playthrough, shall we? <laughs>
So what do I think? You know, one of the amps that I most love touring with was my, at the time, called Rhodes, before we changed it to KSR, Gemini. That amplifier gave me the sauce that I dearly loved. I miss that amp, to be totally honest. This kind of scratches that itch for me in that it has that kind of 5150 aggression, but it's a little bit more fine. It's a little bit cleaner than a 5150. Also, the sheer amount of bells and whistles that this thing has is really a trademark of a Kyle Rhodes design, in my opinion. This thing does it all. This will be on my permanent stack of amps in the back that I use for studio stuff, reamping, mixing records, et cetera, et cetera, simply because it doesn't take up a lot of room and it offers a very wide tonal palette for me. So take that for what you will. This thing is amazing. It's $17.99 for a 45 watt amplifier and it's light-ish. I mean, it's, you know, it's not, you know, the weight of a pedal. However, this is much lighter than, you know, your typical 50 watt amplifier. Or, or larger. So be that as it may, I really enjoy this amplifier. You can also get it in any color you want. They take custom orders all day long. I will link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful. I'm Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.